finally get to walk up this majestic staircase the way that Michelangelo wanted me to, so that I could get into his reading room. When Michelangelo designed the reading room, he was clearly still aware of structural issues and tried to make this space as lightweight as possible. So no freestanding architectural elements like columns or piers, walls and a wooden ceiling up above. And everything that's inside of this room was designed by Michelangelo himself. Michelangelo's design for the reading room is actually quite simple. It's a single spatial unit or module that's then repeated 15 times for the entire space. And the module is actually defined by these gray pilasters that you see behind me on the wall, large scale pilasters that essentially run the entire height of the wall right? instead of dividing it into two smaller vertical elements. And these pilasters in turn line up with the spines of these reading benches. Benches which, in turn, serve as reading surfaces for the person sitting behind. Right? Michelangelo is very clever in his design of this furniture, much like he did over at the New Sacristy, architect and furniture designer at the same time. And so each pair of pilasters containing a group of four reading benches. And those pilasters and the spines of the outermost reading benches in turn aligning with the transverse beams of the wooden ceiling and of the transverse borders of the floor as well. And so a very easy structure for any architect to see through by simply taking one of Michelangelo's modules and then repeating it over and over. And the rhythm that was created by this almost velocity that Michelangelo has here by repeating and pushing these reading benches so close together is a rather accelerated one. So much like the design of the vestibule, the rhythm that one finds inside of the reading room, yes, is one of serenity and of great and successful illumination, but at the same time also of an intense style of architecture, which was characteristic of Michelangelo. <laughs>